Welcome my fellow captains to the third week of the aviation news summary videos, so let's jump right in. Now on Monday, United Airlines became the world's second biggest airline after overtaking Delta Airlines in terms of passenger traffic. United has had an aggressive domestic expansion strategy aiming to increase their capacity by 6% each year. Although American Airlines hasn't released their passenger traffic count, it is expected that they will maintain their title as the world's largest passenger carrier. Lufthansa has become Europe's biggest airline, overtaking Air France KLM, and IAG also grew twice as fast in 2018 as they did in 2017. Jet Airways is facing an engine shortage, as 18 engines are grounding at a maintenance and repair facility in Singapore. ST Engineering MRO is demanding $150 million for the CFM-56 engines which powers the Jet Airways Sound Free Sound fleet, which makes up 86 out of their 123 aircraft. The airline has been able to function almost seamlessly due to the large fleet of the planes. The airline has been able to function almost seamlessly due to the large fleet and many spare engines. However, the airline is still struggling to raise funds to pay for their engines. So on Tuesday, news surfaced of a Singapore Airlines flight from Singapore to London that a bird strike occurred the previous Monday. A bird was found on the plane and it refused to move from the business class seat it was occupying. Passengers tweeted videos of the ordeal when they landed. An Ethiopian Airlines triple sound freighter had an opportunity to fly in formation with the Indonesian Air Force during a non-scheduled cargo flight between Addis Ababa and also Singapore. The aircraft was delivering an engine that required immediate maintenance. The triple sound was instructed to land at Batam Airport with the Air Force saying that it did not have clearance to fly into Indonesian airspace. However, Ethiopian Airlines released a statement explaining that the aircraft was flying in accordance with the ICAO Chicago Convention Article 5, where a non-scheduled flight can overfly a friendly country without prior permission. So Tajikistan's Tajik Air has unfortunately ceased operations, stating that privately run Salmon Air will take over passengers who hold tickets for Tajik Air's flights. Founded in 1924, Tajik is one of the oldest airlines in the world. Their fleet consisted of just three active planes, a 32-year-old 767-300, a 737-300, and also a 27-year-old 757-200. Finally, on Tuesday, the last scheduled 727 passenger flight was made. Iran Aziman Airlines flight EP-851 flew between Zahidan and Tahrain with a 38-year-old 727-200. After entering into service in 1964 with Eastern Airlines, the model is now primarily used for cargo, military and also for private purposes. So Wednesday saw Ryanair shut their package holiday service, Ryanair Holidays. They aim to become the Amazon of travel, however just after two years the service was launched, the airline has discontinued their service, but they will honour all of the previous bookings. Selling airline seats is just a very different task to selling package holidays. The world's first commercial flight with locally produced sustainable fuel has been completed by Etihad 787-9 as it flew from Abu Dhabi to Amsterdam. It's the first time a flight has been operated using fuel derived from plants grown in salt water. Believe it or not, but 160,000 passenger flights have been operated on a blend of sustainable and traditional jet fuel since biofuel came in around 2011 in an industry-wide effort to reduce pollutant emissions. So four of London's airports announced heavy passenger growth in 2018. Heathrow surpassed the 80 million passenger mark, becoming one of only seven airports to achieve this milestone. It also gained approval for a third runway to be built in the next few years. Gatwick handled 44 million passengers and it was sold to Vinci Airports for $3.7 billion. The risk involved with Brexit also allowed the airport to be sold at a lower price. Stansted is the fastest growing airport in the UK as well as one of the fastest growing in Europe. Despite Primera Air's collapse, it saw a 2.1 million passenger increase over 2017. The airport is trying to expand its destination list to China, India and also the US. Luton is near the completion of a direct London rail link and this will increase capacity to 18 million passengers by 2020. Now Antonov announced that they will resume production of the Antonov 124 without Russia popular with special cargo carriers. Assembly of the first aircraft could begin before the end of 2019, according to the Ukrainian media. The assembly will be carried out without Russian components, and Antonov signed a contract with Boeing subsidiary Aviol, who will provide a large portion of the components. So, on Thursday, Norwegian Airlines announced that they will be asking several routes and bases to reduce their costs. 
operating bases to be shut down include Palma de Mallorca, Gran Canaria, Tenerife, Rome, Stewart and also Providence. They say their long haul flights at their own base will also continue, with just the 737 routes being removed. These cuts will help the airlines save up to $234 million. Friday saw US airlines waive rebooking fees as a major storm began affecting airports in the Midwest and also the Northeast. Storm Harper brought heavy snow and also winds, leading to delayed or even cancelled flights. United's waiver included 60 airports, Southwest included 24, and even Frontier Airlines waived fees at 14 of their airports. And finally, Boeing has announced that United was the customer of the $4.5 billion aircraft order last year. It included 24 737 MAX jets and two 777 300s, despite Boeing's new 777X. United is a regular customer for Boeing, and up until 2017, when they retired their last 747, you could fly on a 737, a 747, a 757, a 767, a 777, and even a 787 Dreamliner. So there you go captains, that was a brief summary of all of the aviation news which occurred this week. If there's anything that you found interesting, then by all means do share it with us in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching guys, leave a like and subscribe as always, and I hope to catch you guys in the next one.